Hi, Bainbridge Island. I'm Blair King, City Manager, and this is the weekly update for the week ending May the 20th, 2022. The Police Department continues to address thefts occurring both on land and on the water. Two recent examples include, last Thursday, police were alerted to two individuals who dumped mail into a trash can in front of the Ace Hardware Store. Thanks to alert employees who noticed the activity, police were called to the store and detained the individuals inside. The mail was from four different addresses on the island and did not belong to either individual. Both were taken into custody and their vehicles were impounded pending a search warrant for additional evidence. One individual had an outstanding warrant for theft. In a separate incident on Saturday, a boat owner alerted police to a prowler aboard his boat at the Winslow Wharf Marina. Cameras recorded the intruder who apparently spotted the camera and left without taking anything. Officers searched the area but did not locate anyone. The owner believes the intruder arrived by dinghy. Contact the Bainbridge Island Police Department if you know who this individual might be. To protect your property, check your mailbox regularly. Mail is particularly vulnerable to theft and attractive with the increasing popularity of gift cards. Keep track of gift card numbers. You may be able to cancel them if stolen. Avoid sending cash in the mail. Register for the U.S. Postal Service informed delivery to receive notification of mail and packages scheduled to be delivered to your home. You can use this service to hold delivery of your mail while you are away. Lock your car or remove any valuables. Never leave the keys in your vehicle. At home, lock your windows and doors. When traveling, have a friend check on your home. Set times to activate interior and exterior lights during evening hours. You can request a vacation house check from the police department during your absence. Preventing theft and other crimes takes the ears and eyes of the entire community. If you see unusual or suspicious activity, please note a description or license plate and notify 911. If you have additional questions or any information about the recent thefts, contact the Bainbridge Island Police Department at 206-842-5211. On May 13th, the City of Bainbridge Island and the City of Polesville held a kickoff meeting, the first of its kind, a subcommittee of the Bainbridge and Polesville City Councils. Three members from each city council met informally to discuss a collaboration on mutual issues. The City of Bainbridge Island's representatives included Mayor Dietz, Deputy Mayor Fontroy Johnson, Councilmember Schneider, and the City Manager. It was a productive meeting covering items of mutual interest such as improving State Route 305, health care needs, collaboration on affordable housing efforts, supporting each other in state lobbying efforts, and striving for alignment in the Regional Action Plan, among other topics. The group agreed to meet regularly with the location alternating between cities. The next meeting is tentatively scheduled for June. The city is pleased to welcome our new Director of Planning and Community Development, Patricia Charnas. She started at the city on May 16th. You're invited to meet the new director at an informal meet and greet on Tuesday, May 31st, right here at City Hall from 5 to 7. A resident at Kitsap County since 2004, Ms. Charnas brings extensive experience in many aspects of planning including being responsible for updates to the Comprehensive Plan, Shoreline Management Plan, and Critical Areas Ordinance. The City of Bainbridge Island has added Juneteenth to the list of approved city holidays. Juneteenth commemorates the emancipation of enslaved African Americans. Juneteenth falls on Sunday, June 19th this year, so City Hall will be closed Monday, June the 20th. We will use this time to remember the past and acknowledge all are free and all are equal. More information about activities related to Juneteenth will be shared as the holiday approaches. The votes are in that public has chosen. Fertility is the people's choice for something new for art rotation. Something new brings art to five locations in Winslow for a one-year display during which voting is held. Congratulations to regional artist Jennifer Coons who created the People's Choice Award-winning sculpture, which has been displayed on Winslow Way near the intersection with Erickson Avenue. The city financially supports public art via Arts and Humanity Bainbridge. Last month, the city council approved an increase of the budget to $2,000 for artists selected to participate in the Something New Art Rotation, which provides an opportunity for the artists to receive the $1,000 prize for the People's Choice Award. For more news and information, please check out the city manager's weekly update online at bainbridgewa.gov.